One year ago today, marijuana became illegal across the country. Earlier on City News, we looked at the year that was in the weed game, the highs and the lows. Today also marks the first day that companies can start manufacturing edible marijuana products. And in 60 days from now, edibles will be able to be on the shelves, like here at Tokyo Smoke on Young Street. Earlier, we caught up with Josh Lyon of Canopy Growth about what you can expect. You'll probably see beverages uh, in fridges, but you'll see shelf-stable edibles. So it'll be a similar experience, just a more fulsome suite of products offered. But no matter what you do, you have to ensure that it doesn't appeal to children. So you might not see gummy bears, but you'll see gummies. And there's also regulations in terms of additives, amount of caffeine, amount of sugar. So there are restrictions in terms of the actual ingredients that can go into the products. Do you think it might open up the market to people who haven't tried cannabis products before? Yeah, I mean, the research that we've done shows that people who haven't partaken in the industry or it's been a while since they have are interested in coming back in from a non-combustible standpoint. So they don't want to vaporize. They don't want to potentially smoke dried flour. This is a safer way or potentially a less health risky way to enter back in, obviously being cognizant of your dosing and how much you're consuming. Now, it's not just edibles that are legal as of today. Beverages, vape pens, even topical creams are all legal. And as we mentioned, in a few short weeks or really a few short months, they'll be here on shelves at stores across the parks.